Bahrain, often referred to as Island of Pearls, is steeped in a legacy of love, secularism, and democracy. Our church has been privileged to receive the unwavering support and care of the benevolent rulers of the Kingdom of Bahrain throughout its existence. The early 20th century marks the genesis of the Malangada Orthodox Christian community in Bahrain. In July 1938, Father T. S. Abraham embarked on a significant journey from Mumbai, marking a pivotal moment in the church history. In the year 1959, Father M. V. George, late lamented his grace, Dr. Giorgis Marostatios, arrived in Bahrain. Father George celebrated the Holy Kurbana, conducted sermons, and gave guidance to the congregation to form a parish. The fervent prayers of our ancestors were answered by the then Manangara Metropolitan and Kadurikis of the East, His Holiness Moran Mar Besedius Giverki II. In October 1959, His Holiness declared the prayer group congregation as a church, christening it as St. Mary's Syrian Orthodox Parish. In the year 1965, His Holiness Moran Mar Besedius Augen I, the Supreme Head of the Indian Orthodox Church, graced our church with his presence. He was accompanied by a delegation including His Grace Daniel Mar Pirakshinos of Thumbaman, His Grace Paulus Mar Pirakshinos of Kandanad and Reverend Father T.C. Jacob. They were returning from Addis Ababa bearing the holy relics of St. Thomas en route to India. During their stay at our church, they celebrated the Holy Eucharist. His Holiness received a warm welcome from His Highness, the late Amir Sheikh Hissa bin Salman al Khalifa at his palace and was privileged to experience His Majesty's generous hospitality. In 1967, the dynamic Father K.K. Ponnus, later known as Late Lament of His Grace, Stephanus Mathiodiuchis, was appointed as a vicar. He played a pivotal role in shaping the parish at Sarbania. Father Ponnus maintained constant communication with the Amir of Bahrain and other government authorities through Mr. T. Joseph working diligently to secure a suitable location for our church. The year 1968 marked a significant development when His Highness the Amir Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa graciously allotted a plot of land in the heart of Salmania to build a church for the Malangara Orthodox Christians of India. 1969 was a cherished year for every Malangara Orthodox Christian. It was a year to be remembered for our as it witnessed the completion of our first church building on the designated piece of land. On February 14, 1969, the church was consecrated by His Grace Thomas Martin Mathews, the Metropolitan of Malabar, who later became the Supreme Head of the Indian Orthodox Church, His Holiness Basilius Didimus I. In 1987, the parish celebrated its Silver Jubilee. The Amir of Bahrain, His Highness, Sheikh Isna bin Salman al Khalifa welcomed our diocesan metropolitan His Grace, Dr. Philippos Matayoflos, on his visit to Rafa Palace. His Highness offered his greetings for the Silver Jubilee celebration and all the future activities. In 1993, His Grace Thomas Marathi Mathews, Metropolitan of Malabar, visited the parish and had an audience with His Highness Sheikh Isna bin Salman al Khalifa. In 1998, his Holiness Moran Mar Basedius Marthoma Matthew II, Kadurigas of the East and Malangar Metropolitan, visited Bahrain on April 11th to personally convey condolence to the Amir. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Salman al Khalifa, sudden demise of his father and ruler of Bahrain, Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa. In the year 2000, the Malangar Metropolitan and Kadurigas of the East, His Holiness Moran Mar Basedius Marthoma Matthew II, paid an apostolic visit to our church. He was received at the royal palace by His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Salman al Khalifa. During this visit, His Highness graciously promised and decreed the annexation of adjacent land for the expansion of the church building. The foundation stone for the new church building was blessed by His Holiness Moran Mar Basilius Matthoma Matthew II and laid on November 2, 2001 by our Metropolitan his grace gave his mark The event was graced by the presence of the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Most Reverend, the Lord Dr. George Carey, as the chief guest, along with other distinguished guests. On October 9th and 10th, the consecration took place by the blessed hands of His Holiness, Basilius Marthoma Matthew II, assisted by late lamented His Grace Stephanos Mas 
his grace of the giver is mark purlos and along with former vigas and other priests the golden jubilee of the parish was celebrated in 2008 and it was inaugurated by his excellency jawad al rayd the deputy prime minister of kingdom of burundi on this occasion our parish was elevated to the status of a cathedral on october 10 2008 by his holiness moran mar basilius martama didimus first in the year 2011 the parish achieved a long cherished dream of acquiring the adjacent land based on the decision made on 2010 a reception was held in honor of his holiness moran mar basilius paulus ii acknowledged as a state guest by the royal court of berlin the meeting was attended by several dignitaries and government officials this was an event presided over by his grace Giorgis Markurulos and attended by esteemed dignitaries including his excellency Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmad Al Khalifa the Minister of Foreign Affairs Kingdom of Bahrain in the year 2018 to 19 the year long diamond jubilee celebration of our cathedral was inaugurated on 12th October 2018 with a colorful procession at Indian School Bahrain followed by a public meeting His Holiness Moran Mar Basilius Martoma Paulus II His Grace Giorgis Markurilos His Grace Johanna Mor de Jesus were the chief guests of the meeting The diamond jubilee celebration was concluded on 14th February 2019 A public meeting was held at Berin Kerala Samajam which was presided by Metropolitan His Grace Giorgis Markurilos in the presence of Metropolitan His Grace Dr Johanna Mar Milutius In the year 2019 the foundation stone for the church expansion was laid by His Holiness Moran Mar Basilius Paulus II and the construction was commenced after receiving the necessary approval from the municipality newly renovated cathedral was consecrated on October 9 2021 by His Grace Giorgis Markurilos our metropolitan with the assistance of Vigar Father Biju Philippos In 2022 a royal welcome was organized for his holiness moran mar basilius martoma matthew iii the newly ordained cathedrals and malangara metropolitan by his majesty king hamad bin isa al khalifa along with representatives of the royal court at al safriya palace salat on october 9th marking a historic moment in the kingdom of bahrain in 2023 along with malangara orthodox church We the St Mary's Indian Orthodox Cathedral also commemorated the 1950th martyrdom of St Thomas and and the 65th birthday of our cathedral. We as a cathedral under the leadership of the Marian Committee 2023 were able to conduct memorable and fruitful events such as Indoor Meet at Miranam Vanyavalli, Ecumenical Conference Kairos and other spiritual retreats for the welfare and upliftment of the cathedral members. in marking the year our cathedral is blossoming under the mumbai diocese the history of the bombay diocese traces back to 1960 when his grace matthews marathanas used later enthroned as basilius martoma matthews first had jurisdiction over the diocese of outside kerala his grace dr thomas marmakarius was the first metropolitan with the diocese and headquarters at st mary's church dadar Subsequently the diocese made significant progress during the leadership of late lamental Dr Philippus Martyrophilus who succeeded Mar Makarios in 1979 Martyrophilus initially established his headquarters near St Gregorius Church Chembu before relocating to the current headquarters Orthodox Church Center Washi Navi Mumbai in 1980 His grace Giorgis Markurilos the present metropolitan assumed the leadership of the Mumbai diocese having previously served as the assistant metropolitan along with Matthew Flos since 1991 under his guidance the diocese has grown substantially managing over 70 churches schools clinics hostels and other institutions efficiently with the dedicated efforts of approximately 50 priests and lay representatives His Grace Markurlos had approached the Holy Synod for an assistant metropolitan to help in the growth of the diocese and to outreach the initiatives of the diocese. According to God's divine providence, mercy and grace, Dr. Giorgis Martyrophilos took charge of the Mumbai diocese as assistant metropolitan on 5th January 2023 as per the kalpan of His Holiness Moran Mar Basilius Martoma Matthew III. His grace Dr Giorgis Martyrophilos Metropolitan 
Born on August 8, 1971, as the son of Mr. P.C. Joshua and Mrs. P.C. Mary Kuti, in Kereke Manil House, Thumbamun, his grace belongs to the St. Mary's Kadisha Orthodox Church, Vadaka Kera, under the Thumbamun Diocese. His education journey includes a graduation program in history from Kariwatan Campus, Kerala University, followed by post-graduation in Surik language from MG University, Kota. After successfully completing GST and BD at Old Seminary Kota, he pursued an MTH from FFRRC, MA in Christian Theology from St. Mary's University, Baltimore, and PhD in Liturgical Theology from Tharmaram Vidya Chetram, Bengaluru in 2016. In 2002, he was ordained into the priesthood at St. Mary's Kadisha Orthodox Church, North Thumbamun. His grace journey led him to become a metropolitan, a decision made during the Malangara Serene Christian Association held on February 25, 2022 at Kolanjeri. He was ordained as metropolitan under the name Mathayophilus by His Holiness Basilius Mathama Matthew III at St. Mary's Cathedral, Parini on July 28, 2022. His responsibilities include overseeing the Ahmadabad Diocese since November 3, 2022 and serving as the assistant metropolitan of the mumbai diocese since january 5 2023 today we mark a significant milestone in the history of the diocese as it continues to flourish and make a substantial impact in various aspects